Hello, welcome back to Gana Sushi Lakonding. In this episode, we're gonna try to explore um, some kind of logic node tree in Armory engine in Blender. That's uh, kind of producing um, like a small like a spawning objects. In this case, uh, Susan head. So let's see, and I'll just hit play, and then let's see how it looks. So Armory engine is uh, executed. Now we have Susan head in the in this, this in this uh, small scene, and I can use the A S D W to move around, and also the left click of my mouse. Uh, what's cool here is that I assign um, a way to spawn randomly Susan head by hitting X. The funny thing, of course. Uh, with current setup, if I hold the X too long, it's gonna keep spawning Suzanne like as fast as possible. If I just hit X slowly, it's fine. But if I start to hold it, it's gonna spawn Suzanne like a lot of Suzanne at the time. So yeah, so this is this is the setup. It's very basic. Um, don't know how it's gonna be useful for, but for now. Uh, Let's investigate this a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm currently using the latest Armory 3D for Mac. The one I'm using is this one, Armory 4A for Mac, Blender 2.8. Um, there is Armory 3 for Mac here, but there's also Armory 4A for Mac with Blender 2.7. I'm using the Blender 2.8 beta because it's a uh, I tried. I want to get used to Blender 2.8, even though currently it's a bit strange because uh, with this version of Blender, tab tab become a space, and space become this uh, kind of like a tool switching, and one two three is becoming one is object mode, two edit, three is uh, waiting. It's kind of interesting, you know. It's a. Uh, it's not like really too bad you get used to it very very quickly okay now i'm in the in the weight pain mode okay now back to object mode so anyhow uh 2.8 is interesting and the developers are still working on it and armory also is still being developed and and also i'm using mac os uh, mojave this is some this is also currently being uh, still under beta everything is beta so anyhow it's a uh, it's kind of working so let's look at the logic tree currently what I have here is if it's a uh, if keyboard is true spawn objects let me try if this is actually working without on update previously what I have is this uh, on on update if I plug this into this guy and run it blender will crash uh, will crash right away and uh, because what's happening is gonna spawn Susan head as fast as, as possible and until it ran out of memory and then crashes a lot of things like this can happen in a in a game engine you need to be careful uh, it's very very easy to do that you need to always <clears throat> be aware of the of the memory and the so instead of instead of plugging on update directly there, what I have here here is on update. Check if it's if a keyboard is true and then spawn Susan head randomly. So this is what's different. Randomly here, I have the minimum and maximum. I can change it between minus twenty and twenty units in all the in X Y Z bounding box. Uh, I think it's in meter. Put a location randomly. Maybe I can also put it on rotations. And for the scale, let's try to find random random float. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Random float. There we go. Scale between 0.1 and 5. By the way, if you also look at the, I think I have like ocean being turned on somewhere here. 
I just turn it off because that's give like a weird bugs that we saw earlier. So let's try this once again. So I already assigned the logic nodes into Susan head and should be here. So I let's run this. Play. I have the view port so we can use the AWSD for mo for movement. Oh. Okay, Susan can move and let's hit X. So are we seeing anything this time? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. Let's cancel this very quickly. Stop. So that's kind of dangerous. I think I did something wrong. Let's try this minus two, 10 and 10. When it's released. Okay, hopefully this works. Stop. Play it again. <clears throat> I still have a lot of questions regarding spawning and I would like to be able to spawn Susan head in different color, for example. So I'm hitting X. So now I'm not, seems like I'm not getting anything now. Oops. There is a, okay, that's actually the environment, but I'm not seeing other Susan head. Hmm, wonder why. Did I make a mistake? Let's copy this and reopen the file. Maybe let's open the Armory Spawn version 2 file. Save as. Five. So yeah, I'm curious about the scale thing. Value and get the random. Oh, okay, float is wrong. I just plug it like that. Maybe that's why. It should be three value. So how to combine multiple value vector, okay. Maybe should be like this. All right. Hopefully this works now. Um, I can make the screen slightly larger. And play. So hopefully this will spawn Susan at random scale, at random position. We got the ocean. I, I don't mind. This is uh, an interesting bug. So if I hit X, we get Susan. It's actually the interesting thing here. You can see Susan with a different scale on XYZ. Yeah, pretty neat. It's wrong, but uh, yeah, because apparently this random float is generating different value for each vector XYZ. So I didn't know that. How can I make it single? Uh, maybe I need to put it inside a variable. So this is where it, it's kind of interesting the way it works. You put it in a variable and it's I think this become like a single value. So if I play it again, hopefully this time instead of generating random value, float value for each XYZ, this one is gonna be a single value for XYZ. X, ah, oh, still doing the same thing that's kind of weird it could be a bug but interesting anyway ideally this should be it shouldn't generate uh, three different value uh, maybe there must be another way to do this I guess I, I'll find out 
um, after I finish this video but anyhow this is the setup and I just gonna take screenshot and I'll save the blend for you and yeah so that's uh, spawn object node it's probably not the most correct way to use it but uh, at least you'll learn a new concept so again uh, blender 2.8 still better also this armory is also I think version 0 0.4 this is not even version 1 and blender becomes kind of interesting with a with a hotkey one two three yeah one two three four five kind of interesting I actually I kind of like this what they have here it's all tidy with the tools tab I, I'll get used to the tab but uh, I still can use tab to a lot to do a lot of things you know even like doing toggle toggle to edit mode oh yeah it's very interesting anyway what they did uh, the developers still working for blender 2.8 so that's interesting and thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.